Eddie Hearn has responded to promoter Oscar De La Hoya in an interview saying he's lost all his fighters and his company Golden Boy is done. Yeah, I just, you know, I mean, just a weird guy really, isn't he? But I think we all need weird in our life, you know. I don't like those people that pretend they're so happy, but actually they're burning inside. You know, like his fucking silly voice that he puts on. Hearn was in a reactionary mode in response to De La Hoya's clapback Thursdays this week, in which he gloated about his fighter Anthony Joshua being knocked out by Daniel Dubois last weekend and Devin Haney beefing with him in the crowd over his ticket issues. De La Hoya stated that Hearn doesn't know how to build fighters and that guys that signed with him will either lose or get injured. Anthony Joshua was knocked out in the fifth round by Dubois. It was actually an amazing and entertaining fight and I like AJ. However, this was another huge L for Eddie Hearn who is literally 0-11 to Frank Warren this year. This continues the Matchroom curse, meaning if you sign with Matchroom, you're either guaranteed to lose or get injured. It was an entertaining fight between Joshua and Dubois last weekend. It was one that AJ came close to winning in the fifth round when he hurt Dubois, but he messed up by throwing an uppercut while going for the kill. Joshua's trainer had told him to throw an uppercut, and that was useless instructions. Moreover, De La Hoya blamed Eddie Hearn for ruining AJ's career. Oscar further stated, To make matters worse, Eddie Hearn faced off with his old buddy Devin Haney at the crowd at Wembley. Eddie, you can't build a fighter to save your life. Anthony Joshua had the world at his fingertips, and you found a way to fumble his career. In response to this, Hearn believes that De La Hoya is bitter and hurting inside because he's lost Canelo Alvarez and Jaime Munguia, two of his top fighters. He also points out that Ryan Garcia is out for the remainder of the year. Hearn stated, He's just a weird guy, but we all need weird in our lives. I don't like people who pretend they're so happy but are actually burning inside with this silly voice he's put on. He's lost all his fighters, and I think he's hurting. Canelo is obviously gone. Jaime Munguia, he pretends that he hasn't gone, but he's gone to top rank. Virgil Ortiz, you saw his crowd against Serhi Bohachuk. Ryan Garcia is out for a year. Golden Boy is done. Eddie said that Oscar pointing out AJ's loss is just him trying to be relevant because none of his fighters can match what AJ has done over the years. Hearn further added, he's De La Hoya still a character. I don't take it too seriously either about what he says. I just think he's got a lot of demons, Oscar. I just hope he's okay. When he says, look at AJ, he dropped. He doesn't know how to build fighters. AJ is probably the best built fighter out of any fighter in our generation. Oscar is Oscar. It's another week of not talking about his fighters who are all basically irrelevant. Moreover, Eddie said that he had a meeting with Turkey Alakshik and there's a possibility for a rematch between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubius next year. In the box, I, I guess yeah, I mean, the, look, the we, rematch seems kind of yeah, set we met, we met with we His Excellency on um, Friday. Thursday? Friday? 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 Um, you know, I... I don't think he'd be annoyed by me saying he wants to see the immediate rematch. Obviously, that's an op our option to take. Dubious promoter Frank Warren is more than open to the possibility of a rematch with Joshua and revealed that the IBF champion will head back into the ring next February. When asked about a rematch with Joshua, Warren replied, I'm not against that at all. That's not an open door for me. I'll take the door off the hinges and we'll do it. That fight is there. If they want it, they've got it. Have it in a heartbeat. His next fight will be in February. That's when he'll fight next and we will work out who that's going to be in the next week or two weeks. A rematch between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubious doesn't make any sense. AJ was the contender who challenged for Dubious's belt, and him getting dominated like that doesn't have a good image for a rematch. There were many speculations on why AJ suffered such a loss against Dubious. Despite getting dominated by Dubious, and many questioning if AJ would retire now, Joshua insisted he will be back, however, and has explained that defeats are possibly when you take risks. He said, We took a shot at success, and we came up short. Unfortunately, we rolled the dice, man, for the third time. 13 world title fights. Not everyone has been successful, but everyone has been fun and entertaining. We're trying to create history for British boxing, and I think we're doing that. And you're probably asking, do I want to continue fighting? Of course I want to continue fighting. When asked specifically about his opening round, Joshua said, overhand right, chin in the air, no defense. Kaboom. It was a bit of a downhill slope from there. Tried to change the tide, but it just weren't my my night tonight, Steve. Joshua further posted a video on his social media and made clear that it's not over for him right now. I want to thank every single one of you that's been riding with me. What a roller coaster journey. But you know what the problem is? 
is that it's far from over yet. You know, we've done it once, we've done it twice. Doing it, for, doing it a third time hasn't been easy, but I believe it's something I can achieve. It's about making the right steps forward, working hard, improving, and it's got to come from here more than anything. It can't come from any external voices or influences. It's got to come from here. And it's only been a day, but when I sit back and I'm thinking, I know I've got a lot of this, man. I know I've got a lot of this. So yeah, just a video to say, thanks for your support. Thanks for being on this roller coaster journey with me. Keep your seatbelts tight because deep, deep, deep down in here. However, Alexander Usyk was disappointed in Anthony Joshua's performance against Daniel Dubious. Uh, the footwork was the issue, the mentality was the issue, everything was the issue. Uh, I thought I was uh, seeing the man who has the face of AJ but uh, has a completely different uh, uh, inside. Many criticized the way AJ fought with his hands down and his chin up, which was a tailor-made target for any boxer in the world to hit. The unified heavyweight champion Alexander also thought that AJ's footwork wasn't of someone who has been on the top of boxing for so long now. He stated, I'm not shocked because this is boxing. Daniel Dubois today was better. When you step back like this, leaning back, it's dangerous, said Usyk about how Joshua was hurt by leaning back against Dubois. When I beat Joshua a second time, I don't know what's next. Usyk's promoter Alex Krashyuk was also in disbelief as he couldn't believe that some of AJ's caliber could make such basic boxing mistakes. Alex said, I thought I was seeing a man with the face of AJ, but it was completely different inside. He didn't look the way we expected him to look. Did you see his right hand? It was all the way on his chest, so his chin was up. It was like a fairy tale for any boxer, not just for Dubois. Teddy Atlas believes that Joshua got exposed in his fifth round KO defeat feet against IBF heavyweight champion Dubois. He says the mistakes Joshua had made in past fights and gotten away with didn't work against Dubois, and he took advantage of those flaws. Atlas says Anthony Joshua should retire if he's only focused on continuing his career just to get another 150 million pounds. Atlas said he's got to decide, do I retire? He doesn't have to fight again. Ricky Hatton said he should retire. I agree with Ricky if it's just about getting another 150 million pounds. If it's that, you've got enough. Go off into the sunset. People love you. But if there's something that keeps you up at night, then you've got to fight again for you. Otherwise, no. Atlas said Joshua can improve his game and come back, but if he continues to make the same mistakes again, it's better he retires. Atlas further added, Joshua got exposed. If you do come back, you have to see what you did wrong and what you've done wrong in the past. Even if you've gotten away with it, it's still wrong. It has to be corrected. If you correct it, maybe you can come back and do something something huge again. However, Tyson Fury said that this sort of thing happens in the heavyweight division of boxing, where a good right hand can be so devastating for you. Tyson, your reaction? Yes, Tyson. It's heavyweight boxing, boys. It happens. It happens. You get knocked spark out. It could have been me, it could have been you, it could have been anybody. In the heavyweight division, it's what happens. One punch away from being smashed, knocked out. But Tyson Fury further said that age caught up to Anthony Joshua. He further stated, I thought it was a 50-50 fight. Dubois is a lot younger. He's 27 years old. Joshua is 35, the same age as me. Age doesn't wait for anybody. You get hit with those punches. You don't see many heavyweights get hit, get knocked down, get back up, and continue on. AJ's trainer, Ben Davison, reportedly told him to throw two jabs and an uppercut going into the fifth round against Dubois. Carl Froch called out this move and said Ben Davison wanted AJ to look for the uppercut, which is a dangerous punch. When you throw an uppercut out at range, you leave your chin exposed. That was the reason he lost that fight and got a bad knockout. For me, he's Joshua gone backwards. He's not getting any better, we. Oui. He's had four gimme fights, and now he's gone in with a lively opponent in Daniel Dubois, who can bang. That's why the instructions to throw an uppercut in round five was a stupid idea. Froch believed that AJ was not looking great from the moment he made his entrance. Froch compared both AJ's and Daniel's demeanor and said that Daniel was hungry to win. He stated, Anthony Joshua got absolutely battered from pillar to post. Anthony Joshua walked to the ring and he looked nervous. He didn't look confident. I didn't like the look in his eyes. He was swallowing and he was walking slowly and he just looked nervous. Daniel Dubois was smiling. Daniel Dubois was enjoying himself. From the off, I just thought, hang on a minute. I feel in the air coming tonight. I can see an upset coming. The difference for me was, Dubois 
Dubois was a young, hungry lion. Carl Froch believes Anthony Joshua has gone backwards with his career since swapping out trainer Rob McCracken in 2021 following his first loss to Oleksandr Usyk. Froch says Joshua needs a training team shakeup after losing to Daniel Dubois. Froch further added, he's gone backwards since he left Rob McCracken, and if he's going to go forward and come back and have a rematch with Daniel Dubois, then I don't think he's got the right team around him. He needs a big shakeup in the team. Lennox Lewis said that AJ coming out with his chin up was a huge mistake made by him during the fight. Lennox explained how a visible chin for a power heavy puncher Dubius is a match made in heaven. He stated AJ did come out even with his chin a little bit, and I was like, ah, you need to put that chin down, because against a right-handed boxer where he's been throwing right hands and knocking out people all the time, you are opening the door by keeping that chin up. So I know Daniel Dubois was looking at him and was saying, okay, there's that chin for me. Let me throw that right hand. When asked if he thinks it's the end of AJ, Lennox said, I don't think it's the end for AJ. Nobody really wants to retire on a loss, so he may come back. Michael Bisping said that Dubious ruined AJ's plan of facing the winner of Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Oof, Dubois got rocked, right hand from AJ. No way, this would be an amazing comeback. Trading now. Oh, Joshua goes down again. A right hook, a right hook from Dubois. He ain't getting up from this one. And it is over. Wow. Daniel Dubois just went out there, dominated from start to finish beating pillar to post even conor mcgregor's there with his hands in there in like the the confused madness of it all daniel dubois has just arrived he's one of the biggest names now in international heavyweight boxing aj if he'd have won this would have been going up against the winner of fury versus Usyk in december it's just around the corner well guess what step aside butch because now it's Daniel Dubois. Dillian White thought that Joshua was concentrating on positioning himself for the huge right hand by jabbing at the head and body, but this tactic wasn't carried out well, especially in the early going. White said that Joshua was thinking too much instead of acting aggressively and punching. White said, AJ seemed to be off. I could see he's trying to jab to the head and jab to the body to look for the big right hand, but you can't just go out and try and do it in the first round. White also brought up the fact that despite his aggression, Dubois was still making blunders. However, Joshua didn't fling his hand sufficiently to take advantage of those chances, and his hesitation and overanalyzing allowed Dubois to take control. White further added, and Dubois was making his own mistakes. He was aggressive, but AJ was spending too much time thinking and letting him throw his hands. Terence Crawford also said that AJ got overconfident when he got a good shot in the fifth round and compromised his defense, which resulted in his ultimate demise. Terence said, it was a great fight. I think Joshua got overconfident. He hurt him with a shot and went for the kill, but he forgot about his defense and forgot about the fundamentals. Crawford said that Dubious was the better man on the fight night. He continued, I always stated that the better man was going to win today, and Dubois was the better man. He came to fight. You could see it in his eyes that he was not leaving the ring without that victory. Gareth A. Davies believes Anthony Joshua's legacy is in a mess after having the stuffing beaten out of him by Daniel Dubois. However, Davies praised AJ for showing resilience despite getting knocked down in the first round. He said, You have to praise Anthony Joshua for hanging on after his world was ripped out from underneath him in the last 20 seconds of the first round by that overhand right. Davies mentioned how Joshua almost rescued victory from the jaws of defeat in the fifth round after he landed one punch but was down face first on the canvas seconds later. Davies further added, It was the AJ's show because the champion Dubois walked first. Which is unusual as well. He was treated like the A-side as well, walking out. I picked Joshua to win. I thought he had the wherewithal to do it, but he never recovered after being hit by that right hand in the first round. Davies further added, he didn't execute his game plan. He came up against a young man who wanted to beat him in a duel, and he lost in a duel. They're both big explosive punchers. He didn't produce last night. Look at the punch stats. He threw 117 punches in those five rounds and landed 32 because he was in survival mode 
mode for most of it. He got beaten up. This is the first time he was beaten up. This was a one-sided drubbing. Despite all the criticism and many saying that AJ should retire, Eddie Hearn says he wants Anthony Joshua to fight Tyson Fury twice in 2025 and then retire. He said, if Tyson Fury loses against Oleksandr Usyk, my advice for those two, Joshua and Fury, is to have two fights in 2025 and then sail off in the sunset. May the best man win. If Fury wins against Oleksandr Usyk, AJ can fight Fury for the Unified Heavyweight Championship. But Aid Oladipo doesn't understand why AJ can't respectfully retire after having such a performance against Daniel Dubious. Even if he won, there's only a couple of fights left for AJ anyway. 100%. So he lost. And I'm just removing those two fights. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. He yeah. lost yeah. and he lost badly. So I'm like, okay, forget those two more that you wanted, mm -hmm. Usyk and Fury. Call it. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. can't fighters just walk away like this? Yeah, because that's I, I what they're exactly, that, 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 That's The boxing is steeped in that history. It is, that it? is a fact. And I want someone that to walk away with all the faculties. In I know place. what you're saying. Agreed. And just be okay. I mean, like, I got David I Hay. I did, uh, you know, one of those He wants to come back, I saw. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts about this situation? Should AJ retire? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.